Asia. And I'm Tiana. And you're watching TNT, TNT Cooking. Cooking. And today we are making homemade chips. Yes, we're doing two different flavors. And if you want to see us make these delicious chips, just keep watching. Happy Sunday. We're back again this week. Last week we did some delicious game day snacks some mozzarella sticks and some onion rings. Click the eye at the top if you want to see that video. And this week we are back again with some more delicious game day snacks. We are making chips. Woo! We're making two different flavors. Our signature, our signature TNT chips. Our signature TNT chips. <laughs> and we are making some barbecue flavor chips because that's my favorite flavor. It's super easy. It's a lot um, easier than you probably think it is to make potatoes. Yeah, it's really simple, really easy. So let's get started. The very first thing you have to do is get you a little chopper, a little cutter. Voila. This is ours. We got it from Walmart for like $10. I don't know what the brand is because I threw the box away. But you just need something that's going to give you like really tiny, uniform um, slices of your potato. You can pretty much use any kind of potato that you want. We use red potatoes because those are the kind of potatoes that we eat. Um, you can also cut these by hand. You want to make sure that they're thin enough that you can see through them and they're all about the same thickness. So once you cut all of your potato slices into um, nice uniform thickness, you're going to put them on a paper towel. You want to place them on there so they all can dry. Take about 10 minutes to dry. You want to make sure that they are as dry as you can get them. Next, you are going to season it, season your chips. All the ingredients for, um, for the seasoning will be in the description box below. So the last thing you're going to do, you're going to get your freshly seasoned chips and put them in the fryer. You're going to deep fry them in your fryer for 2 to 5 minutes. 3 to 5 minutes. Three to five minutes until they're nice and crispy and delicious. Like so. There we go. As you can see, the two potatoes that we use for each flavor makes a lot of chips. So it doesn't take a lot of potatoes. And you can make, you can use whatever seasons you like to make whatever kind of blend, to make whatever kind of chips that you like. And it's delicious and you know exactly what you're eating. You don't have any questionable artificial flavors, ingredients, preservatives that you see in a regular grocery store bag of chips. So thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe we are still trying to get to 100 subscribers so if you like this video thumbs it up subscribe if you're not subscribed and send this to a friend so they can subscribe as well hashtag stop killing us 